What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about uh, COD 2021 or Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, whatever you would like to call it. How there's been a lot of speculation. I've even been talking about it here on the channel that it could be canceled. Well, yesterday during an earnings call, uh, Activision and Blizzard did confirm that Call of Duty 2021 will be releasing this year. And they did also state they confirmed it that Sledgehammer will be the team that is uh, heading it up. They also said kind of some vague details that the game will have a single uh, single player campaign, multiplayer, and a co-op component. They also said that the, that the game will be built for next gen, suggesting that you know it's going to take advantage of both what the Xbox uh, Series S and X and the PS5 have to offer. Uh, they did not say that it was not going to be on old gen. We've already talked about that before. Sledgehammers talked to, or, I mean, uh, Activision talked about that in the past. That the next couple titles most likely will still be on old gen as well as new gen. Um, that is always kind of disappointing, I guess, to some people that have a new gen console, and I can't understand why, because you really want to play a game that takes advantage of what new gen has to offer. And the bad thing about that, in my opinion, is a lot of times a console may only be out for, we'll just say, eight years. Well, the first couple of years of a console being out, most games that are made, for the most part, I mean, some are not always made just for both uh, old and new gen. Sometimes some companies will make just new gen versions of their game. But most of the time... Uh, you really don't get to see the full advantage of a new gen console for several years after they have been released. They also stated that Warzone will be coming back. They said that Warzone is one of the most important kind of things in the overall franchise as of now. It's one of the things that's played the most, has played more than the campaign, co-op, zombies, uh, multiplayer. They're kind of saying, you know, that Warzone, like they have over the last couple of years since Modern Warfare was released, uh, that it's kind of not really their main focus. is not ever how they word it, but they almost kind of come off saying that without saying it if that makes sense um they will say they did say the only thing that will be delayed out of this probably into 2022 will be warzone because they're going to have to integrate this game once uh, once again into warzone so it's going to be kind of interesting in my opinion to see how warzone is going to integrate once again into a game that already has tons of weapons from uh, modern warfare we'll have weapons from cold war now and then it's going to have these weapons and if this game actually does turn out to be a world world war ii game it's going to be kind of strange to see a lot of these weapons in the game from different eras and things like that, if you kind of understand uh, what I'm meaning there. It's, it's going to be strange. It's going to be a lot of weapons, just period, in the game. Uh, it's, kind of, it's going to be interesting to see how it works. I know a lot of people were not real happy with the integration from Modern Warfare and Cold War kind of coming into uh, Warzone. So I'm going to be curious to see exactly what happens with that going forward. But they said the game will release this year sometime in the fall. The only thing that's really going to be delayed is Warzone. So we can, we have confirmation now that Sledgehammer is making it and the game will be released this year. Still no word on a title uh, officially from Activision and still no word on a release date yet. They just did say sometime in the fall. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Um, let me know what you think. And, of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.